Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. This video we're going to talk about the best waifu in Kaguya-sama Love is War. And it's obviously Kaguya-sama. She's smart. Yes, I do get the fact that her relationship with the main... I'd say there's two. Her, like, maid lady and her are the two best in my opinion. I mean, all the girls in the show are pretty cute, not gonna lie, but... Like, she's like a genius. She's socially awkward, which I find attractive. But, like, she's like she's straightforward. She's really good at certain things. Like, the bow. She was really good at shooting the bow. And she just gets... She just makes these cute-ass faces, dude. Like, let's be real. They're fucking adorable. And her red eyes, dude. Her red eyes are nice. And I like how her having black hair and then her maid has blonde hair. Like, it's like, you know, opposites because they're... But then they, she tried to get with uh, the president guy. Uh, the maid did just to prove a point. And he couldn't do it because, you know, he's in love with her. And, like, their whole story is cute. But that's not what we're here to talk about. That was just a little bit of a tangent about... And, like... She's the smartest girl in the class. She comes from a good family. So you know you'll be taken care of. She will pro If you're okay with the fact that she's probably going to make more money than you. Because, you know, she's smart. She's going to go to a good college. And all that stuff. Which is perfectly fine with me. But I wouldn't be smart enough for her, though. So there's kind of that issue. But, like, she's adorable. Let's, let's be real. Uh, let's be real. She's... Absolutely incredibly cute. And like, bro, them red eyes though. They they pierce your soul. Now you might be thinking about like the God the the chief of police's daughter, I forgot her name, or the the like other girl that's in the show. It's like the other member of the council that's a girl. And the reason I wouldn't pick her is she I feel like, yeah, she's cute. Both of them are cute. All the girls in this show are cute. Let's be real. But, she, I don't know. I just like the main girl the best. I'd probably go with the cop's daughter next. Because, like, she has principles and beliefs. And she has a belief system. Now, her when she was, like, running for whatever she was running against the president... Or whatever. Uh, her speech and what she was going for made no sense to me. Like, why would you want everyone to shave their heads bald and all this stuff? And yes, I can't public speak, so, you know, there's that. But he, the president helped her. And all the... Kaguya-sama's nice. Like, if you're one of Kaguya-sama's friends, she'll go to war for you. Let's be real. She'll help you in any way, shape, or form as long as you're not trying to get with her man. Which is hot. <laughs> and the way her mind, she plays 4D chess with the president, dude. They're playing 4D chess the whole entire time. And if you're, some people aren't okay with dating somebody that is more intelligent than you. Which I don't understand. Why the fuck does it matter? Everyone's got strengths and weaknesses in life. And, you know, there is things that I can do that they can't do, which is fine. Uh, she is, bro, she comes from one of the richest families in Tokyo. It's like, I think that's what they said in the show, which is incredible. She's smart, brilliant, she's a lot of things. And like, dude, every time I see those faces she makes, it's like, oh, god damn. And she's good with stuff like the bow, as I said before, and like schooling. And she's like a good judge of character, in my opinion. And her advice is pretty helpful most of the time. What she says she wants to do and how to help people is always pretty good. But, like, she can't follow her own advice. 
because she doesn't want to lose lose because love is war. Even though it would make her happy, you know, being the maid the maid chick probably has the most annoying job because she knows what the president wants or the uh, Kaguya Sama wants, but she won't admit it. She's too stubborn. And then she's like bad with technology, which I find funny. And then when they broke the phone, that was pretty heartbreaking for her. Now, it's crazy to think that people could be have this much like feelings towards somebody and then just not be able to say anything. Because then they lose. They lose at this thing. She doesn't want to lose so badly that she's willing to toy and manipulate with a person she likes because she wants to win at this thing. She wants him to confess. Even though it's killing her inside. Same thing for him. But I think it's more drastic for her than it is for him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do indeed do indeed think that. Because why wouldn't it be? He's got all the pressure in the world to, like, say these things. And to do what society would consume to be right, which is the man to ask the woman out. But he doesn't... He won't see it that way because he won't do it. Yes, he won't do it. If he would have done it, he would have done it by now. And if he would have done it, he probably would be happy. They'd both be happy. They'd both be in situations where they, where they want to be in. And granted, this show has, I think it's on like tw- volume 23, which in my opinion is amazing. Like... Now, they haven't gotten anywhere, and I wish the Rome so far, I'm on the latest season, which, like, halfway through the latest season, and I could see why a lot of people drop this show, because it's, like, I would compare it to Death Note, but take away all the, like, the, like, the death, so they're, like, like, the two main characters are incredibly intelligent, but... They just can't get the information they want from each other, which drives the other one crazy. But then they have to do these certain things because they feel a certain way and they want this experience to be the way that they want it to be. But then it doesn't come out the way that they hoped it would come out and how they hoped the situation would go because it doesn't happen to go the direction, which drives both of them insane, which... The president can't he he can't be bad at something. He won't he won't let himself be bad, but she won't let they won't let each other love each other. And I know this video is supposed to be about her being the best wife, which I do believe she's the best wife in the show because I feel she would take care of you in ways the other ones just can't. And I believe she's 10 times smarter. I believe she is. Her future is so much brighter than theirs. I mean that in the most respectful way possible. And also, like, she's a pretty capable woman on her own, which I feel like some people wouldn't find attractive. I find it ungodly attractive. If a woman can take care of herself. And it's like a strong, independent woman who's willing to work. I find that shit so se- sexy. And like... The eyes, dude. <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. Her eyes are enchanting, to say the least. She... If she had more of like the main character from My Dress Up Darlings, like, personality... Or not person, uh, like fearlessness. I think she'd be the perfect waifu in anime because she's not she's not afraid to say most things, but the things she are would is afraid to say, like really sets her back because she'd be so much farther in a relationship than most people. But she's not willing to say a lot of things because she doesn't want to lose her stubbornness. Which, I am stubborn too. I can't 
say that I'm not. I'm ungodly stubborn. That's probably one of my only good characteristics. Yes, sir. Yes. I said good characteristics. Which is fine. You know, everyone can't be stubborn and everyone can't be great at everything. But honestly, they don't show you very many of her flaws in the show. Like, she seems like a... St- I don't see any flaws. I don't know if that's just a me thing or a what. It's nice to see a woman with this much, you know. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, bye bye